that Telluride is the newest addition to Kia's lineup. It is the brand's first model designed specifically for the US market and the biggest car they ever made. The Telluride is also the hottest new SUV on the market and it's one of the few SUVs I've been waiting to get my hands on. Without further ado, let's take the Telluride in top of the line S Extreme out on the road and see how it drives. The Telluride only comes with a 3.8 liter V6 that makes 291 horsepower and 262 pound feet of torque. The engine seems to be sluggish up to 3000 rpm, but once it gets there, it builds up power in a very smooth manner and 8 speed automatic transmission shifts gears smoothly and quickly. My average fuel consumption during my week with the Telluride was 19 miles per gallon in the city. 27 on a highway and 24 combined, which honestly is not a bad score considering the car's size. The Telluride offers an extremely refined and quiet ride. The suspension, just as expected, is softly tuned and it filters out the bumps really well. I would compare the Telluride's chassis to cars like the Lexus RX or Volvo XC90. That's a huge compliment, which shows how far the brand has gone. The cabin is well isolated from the outside noise thanks to double glazed side windows and extensive use of deadening materials. The car comes with a lot of standard safety features including automatic braking with pedestrian detection, adaptive cruise control, lane keeping assist and blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic alert. E-Xtreme's N-Up comes standard with Kia's highway driving assist which works incredibly well and it's almost at the level of pilot assist which you can find in Volvo. The interior is another strong side of the Telluride. The design and ergonomics are on a high level and as much as I hate the term premium, it looks and feels that way. The infotainment system is quick and its interface is easy to use. It is pretty much the same unit that you can find in the Kia K900, but unfortunately it lacks a control knob to operate it. I found it challenging to use the touch-sensitive screen while driving, and the controller would definitely make things easier. The front seats wrapped in Nappa leather are very soft and comfortable, offering great adjustability. The Telluride is offered either with 7 or 8 passenger configuration. My tester was an SX model which had two captain chairs in the second row. If you opt for a $2000 prestige package, you get heated and ventilated rear seats which aren't even available in some luxury cars. The third row is actually usable. Obviously, it's mainly intended for children, but even adults can travel back there on a short distance. The trunk offers 21 cubic feet behind the third row, 46 cubic feet behind the second row and 87 cubic feet behind the first row. The Kia Telluride is a good looking SUV with great presence and if you're in the market for a family SUV with a usable third row, it is the best choice in the segment. Pricing of the Telluride starts at $31,690 for a base EX front-wheel drive model. The all-wheel drive is a $2,000 option. My fully loaded tester, the S-Extreme with all-wheel drive and prestige package, was priced at $47,310. The car is covered by a 5-year, 60,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty and a 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty.